and a channel. For the Ziki. All three burners. Give it a quick wipe and I'll show you what's on the grill. Righto, so Ziggy is all nice and warmed up on low now, had full burners going, so she's right up to temp, exactly the way I love her. So we've got that all nice and oiled up, and we're using the finest of the Woolies Extra Virgin Olive Oil Spray. This is the best stuff to cook with and get the flames up. I've been using the canola spray lately, and I've been getting a bit of a beer belly from that. So I thought, I'd better go back to the olive oil. Plus I've been doing my shopping in Woolies again. So anyway, we're going to be cooking these skewers tonight. So Woolies got two different types of skewers out recently. Last week we cooked the Jamaican jerk. And this weekend we're going to try the souvlaki kebabs. But also as well, I bought an old favourite thing I used to cook with. I bought the Old Bay Spice seasoning. So what I want to do is I want to cook half of these normal. Now the flavors are probably going to mix up because it's going to be on the mat, but I want to cook up half of these normal and then half of these with the old base spice. So I'll show you how it looks on the grill. Okay, so we've got a grill full of skewers here and we're going to give them the oil up. Now I've turned the middle burner off so the outer burners are nice and low. So we're just going to do these low and slow, indirect cook. So I'm giving them a flip. That's one coat of oil. Flip, 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 flip. And these are actually really, really, really chunky chicken. So just the way you want them. All right, flip. Oil spray, and we're going to put some old bay spice over. Four of these, and then four of these is going to be standard because I've never had this flavor before. So, now that looks like a lot of spice, but it should probably burn off some of that. And rotating that, it should sink into the meat. It might be a bit of overkill on top, <laughs> but fuck it, here we are. Salt base spice getting into that meat. Because, yeah, with that, if I go all four edges, that is going to be way too much overbite. And one thing, what do we say about nice kebabs when we've got the gun? Let's flame it up, motherfucker! Flaming kebabs! Yum, yum. So, we're going to close the lid after one more rotation. And I'll let these sizzle for at least at least five minutes on mid heat. Now give them one one more flip. Now check them, and one more flip, and one more flip. Let's say about three to four more flips, and they'll be done. So keep tuned in, guys, and you'll see how these look when they come off. All right, so I save half the bullshit. Um, yeah, we just. Done out a couple of rotation flips here, bumped up the heat a little bit more. So the uh, ones with the old base spice, they're sizzling away nice. They're gonna look a little bit darker because the marinade comes up darker. And then I've got the just the fresh ones sitting there. So yeah, being a chunkier chicken cooking around about 160 degrees, we're looking at probably about another, at least another 20 minutes on the barbecue. So yeah, I gotta try and keep this one short because the startup was pretty long. But um, I'll show you how to look when they all come off. Yum yum, eat, and we'll give it. We'll give it one more flame up. This flame up, flame up, flame up Fridays. Woohoo! Yummy. All right, we'll show you how to look in the end. Right, oh, it's time to take the skewers off. No gas off. The all the burners back to default, and. This is the finished product, so let's see how we go. So we've got the standard flavour there, which I've already given these a bit of a stab so I can see how they look. Um, I've put a lot of oil on this as well, so they are nice and white. 
Now these were the ones that I didn't put the spice on. So for those who say, oh, that looks a bit raw, that is nice and white. And you can have, you can have these just a tad pink and they're still fine. And these ones on top, these are the old base spices. Go get these off, and I know I do need I need to get the new camera, but for now the phone will do. So everything is a one hand <laughs> one hand job. Okay, so that's how the skills have come up. Nice and succulent and yummy. A little bit of pink there. The light the lighting's pretty shit out of here. So anyway. And now I've got to deal with this when the barbecue cools down and we'll put the next cook up on for today. Anyway channel, thanks for viewing. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this content. And you'll see a lot more epic cooks. Peace.